Please note, this video is not meant to be a detailed instructional. Many factors such as timing, experience, and your opponent's reaction will determine your success with these techniques. It is to demonstrate the many options you have for these attacks. All of these techniques can be done successfully given you take the time to practice. I recommend you do not try to learn all of them at once. Pick a select few and practice them a lot so you can develop a good Kimura and Americana base game. The Americana from Mount is one of the most fundamental submissions. And the Americana from S Mount is actually a very high percentage submission. Another fundamental Americana is from the side control position. And with the overhook from half guard, if they drop their elbow to pull out, you can get the mirror lock. You can also get the Americana from top half guard. If you go for an arm crush from the guard and they bring their arm in front of your face, you can also switch to an Americana submission. The Kimura from side control is a very common attack. If you walk your body into them while you're going for the Kimura, you can make the Kimura even tighter. While you're going for the Kimura, if you walk your legs into their shoulder, their arm will go further behind their back and lock it up even more. And if you can step over the head, you can increase your control and your leverage a lot. And if you decide to do a forward roll when you step over their head, you may be able to increase your leverage and get a tighter submission. A lot of people aren't aware of this Kimura, but you can get a rear naked grip, walk around, have the arm close to your body, and then sit through. So I grab inside my bicep, walk around, sit through, and increase the pressure. And you can also finish the Kimura from top half guard position. Kimuras against a deep half guard are a very effective way to catch your opponent off guard. From bottom half guard, you can go for a Kimura on your opponent's far side arm, and also from bottom half guard, you can go for a Kimura on your opponent's near side arm. The Kimura from closed guard is extremely common, and the Kimura from north south position is also extremely effective as well. A tricky and effective Kimura from north south position is by stepping over your opponent's body and finishing the Kimura from there. Jump up and pull hard on their arms so you can get the Kimura when they're trying to defend. Also from the north-south Kimura attack, you can get the near side Kimura on them by holding their wrist, and you can also get the rear naked choke style near side Kimura by getting that position and finishing that way. If you create the space, you can attack for a Kimura from the bottom side control, and you could also use this attack from the Kimura to roll them over as well and finish. One of my favorite Kimura attacks is from the butterfly guard. I also use this Kimura attack so I can roll them over, get the sweep, or even finish the Kimura from the top. And another slick Kimura attack is attacking it while you're inside your opponent's butterfly guard. You can also roll them over while you're doing this so you can get more leverage from the top position. The switch Kimura when your opponent goes to spin behind you is a very slick submission and a good way to get on top. You can also use the sit out from the front turtle position to land into a Kimura attack. And if you do a Peterson roll while your opponent has you in the front turtle position, you can land in a situation where you can go for an Americana type submission. Use the triangle position as a way to get the Kimura as well. And if you time it right, you might be able to time the Kimura off of the arm bar. So as soon as you go for the arm bar, you swim your arm through and wrap around for the Kimura attack. A lot of people don't think about going back for the Kimura after they attempt an omoplata. If your opponent has his arm in between your legs when they have you in side control, you might be able to push their head in between your legs and expose their arm for a Kimura. I really hate when this happens to me. A good way to counter the elbow knee escape when your opponent is going to escape the mount position is when they push on your knee and leave their elbow open, you can attack for a Kimura from this situation. It's also similar when they go to push on your knee when you go for the knee on belly position. A very tricky submission that I've seen Kurt Pellegrino hit in competition is when you get the shin control, you use your foot to lace it behind their arm, pull their arm, then pull it behind their back so you could finish them from there. And if you get the figure four grip on your opponent from the back mount, you can release the back mount and get the near side Kimura on them. The hip bump to Kimura is a very common combination. And using Kimuras to counter the over under pass is an extremely common thing that many people do. When you do the sitting arm crush from the side control position, if your opponent gets their arm in front of your face, you can go for an Americana type submission. And you can also go for a Kimura type submission if they go the other way. There's also situations from standing scenarios if your opponent grabs your ankle that they leave their elbow open for a Kimura attacks. A common counter to the Kimura from the guard is when you put your hand on their hip, bring your arm all the way up your chest and then posture up. You can also do this from half guard. You put your hand on your hip, walk your hand up your chest and then start posturing up so you can lock their arm up instead. When your opponent gets behind you, push on the top arm, get the Kimura grip and then bring the arm behind their back and keep spinning them. And also when you do this, if you get your foot on their inner thigh, you can flip them over, get on top, and finish the Kimura from there. 
I really like using the Kimura grip and attacks so I could defend single leg takedowns against my opponents. And you can also attack your opponent with Kimuras when they go for double legs on you as well. Thank you for watching. For more videos, advice, and concepts, please join us at the Grapplers Guide at www.grapplersguide.com.